Philips Neopix Easy Plus. Is it worth your money? Let's find out. Inside this box you will find a Neopix thank you card. Um, for me opening this box was uh, was struggling but um, it's because of me I guess and uh, when you first looked at the Philips projector it's quite beautiful it's small but compact so on the back we find an VGA uh, on the sides we have an HDMI, USB, power connector, um, auxiliary input and a headphone jack for some speakers. There's also a possibility to use the microSD for loading images like photos or maybe video. So when you dive deeper inside of this box you will also find a remote control. This remote control is of course handy when you want to control your projector which also uses batteries of course and that's also inside this box so inside the box we have the projector itself batteries a remote control power suckers and AC adapter for this video I will place the Neopix easy plus on the top side of my bed which means if I put it around there the beamer projector will project its screen on a big wall. Well, I've now set up the beamer on the top side of my bed and I need to close the curtains in order to make it darker in my room. So let's close the curtain for now and of course turn off the lights and don't forget to lit as I did. And as you can see this projector is actually quite bright. Um, in my room, it's still I'm still tweaking it, but I think this is actually a great projector if you need one, or if you're in a hurry to buy one. Which is all to see. This is going to be fun. <laughs> recommend using the Philips Neopix EC Plus? Yes and no. The yes is because of the functionalities and the great image quality it produces. And also if you want to use the Bluetooth speakers it has the possibility to stream music through Bluetooth. And for screen mirroring it's also great. Uh, you need to have a great connection, otherwise it's quite laggy. And the no is because these functionalities also are quite, well, I won't say bad, but there are some still issues with it. Uh, so I would say I recommend use Philips Neopix Easy. So I would recommend the base model of it. And with the base model I also recommend using a Fire Stick or a Chromecast. And the Bluetooth functionality of this one is actually uh, also not great. For instance, I watched a movie and I uh, connected a Bluetooth speaker with it and there's a slight delay on audio which makes me a bit angry because it's actually not watchable and I want to enjoy movies and series so I stopped it and I used a wired speaker. I would recommend it but I would recommend buying the Philips Neopix Easy.